entirely into Team Secret pushing into you at all times. I, I feel like there's going to be a problem with this last pick, no matter what. Yeah, that's that's a really good point, Cap. Um, oh my god, it's the core Omni! It's the safe lane Omni! Um, Secret's final pick. So who's going to be on an off lane? What? Dude, I don't know. Do they misclick? <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe it's a safe lane ogre who's gonna get Agon Scepter. I don't know, dude. All I know that is sounds I'm... better than farming Omni Knife. All I know is I'm not picking Kingwood. No, maybe it's a Core Dazzle. You may now select and an OD. And they picked an OD. So they, they picked an OD against the Dusa. Against the Dusa plus a Drain from Lion. This Medusa is gonna have a hard time. So it's. El Lissage playing Ogre means it's a support Ogre. Yep. Exotic Deer, that's actually a farming Dazzle. Hell believe it yeah. or not. I don't know. Called it! I, I said it in the previous stream that I want to see Dazzle being played something differently because of his first, first but spell. It's, it's but it's normally mid. That's theory crafted, right? Because that was what used to be run a long time ago, is mid yeah. Dazzle. Donda, Safe mid dazzle, dazzle with Armlet. Just uh, juking dazzle. the shit out of people. I mean, I, I bet Safe Lane Dazzle does pretty good against Tide. Support Dazzle doesn't, but if he, I don't know, gets the levels and poison, <laughs> maybe he can zone him. I don't know, dude. All I know is I'm not picking Kingwin to win this game. Well, all right. Well, we know where you're going. Yeah. yeah. The cost. Same, Same thing. I'm, okay. I, don't know. They... I will be very impressed, and I'm happy to be wrong about so, this, but right. I can't support no, it. No, but who's going to okay. get repelled? Dazzle? I guess so, dude. And then he's okay. going to shallow grave himself afterwards. I'm just going to let these two carry on because <laughs> uh, they're completely bemused by this particular draft. It's confused the hell out of our panel. I wonder if our commentary team have got any wise words. You know, the wise words can come from Ben in just a second, but I'm looking forward to seeing Kingwin win this game and watching Lacoste as well as Cap basically hang themselves in their own bow ties. Uh, we're going to get to the game. What do you think about it, Ben? Have... have, have Kingwin kind of lost their marbles. Have they toodles this right now? Ah, Dazzle. He, he has good talents. Prepare for battle. Okay, okay. Is, is this a clutch at straw? Like, is that what that is? I think it's doable. His uh, poison touch is a lot better than before, at least for laning. Uh huh. It does a lot more damage. But the thing about it is, it got buffed, so you actually have to right click people to extend it, which means that if you're a support, you're not getting full value out of the poison touch. So let's go over his talents. He has. Sit, well, after we go through the heroes. Oh, no, you, you're fine. You're fine. Go, go through the talents. We can enjoy the okay. uh, the very weird and creepy pitches that come along with with this. So he has 60 damage at level 10. That's pretty significant. Usually, if you're a support, you're like, ah, eh, whatever. Ca cast range or health is usually better. But if you're a core, 60 damage is no laughing matter. We're talking about like relic damage territory, right? That is a free sacred relic. Okay, mm -hmm. 3,800 gold at level 10. Are you, are you actually trying to pull out the old... I remember Poppy made this debate back at TI3. It's like, this ability gives me the equivalent of $4,000 worth of an item. Gold, that, 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 that was the uh, gold. Whatever. Just are, are we actually semanticing this already? Yeah. We're immersed in the world of Dota. Don't ruin my immersion, Toby, by saying dollars. Oh, he almost has $4,000 for the sacred rel... No one has... <laughs> I'm ruined. I'm out of here. Begins. Anyways, and then his other talents, his <laughs> level... Can I have black back? I want to miss my caster again. His 15 talent, I actually haven't seen the cast range with the poison touch, so I don't actually know if that's good or not. So I'll kind of see how he plays it from there. 30 oh. poison touch DPS yeah, is huge. going to get this done. They got the decay off. Fada behind him. We've got no... Attack straight back. In fact, Fana now way wide ball. Uh, rolling ball to come to go down the stairs, and Fana's got the creep wave with him. I don't even know if you want to roll in one v three, anyways. <laughs> but Exotic Gear is gonna have a really tough time. Poison Touch level one cooldown is so long, so you know it's kind of good that he is getting that experience. Meanwhile, back to the mid lane, we have CT one, the stand-in for Team Secret. Not gonna have as much damage as he'd like to in the early stages. This is uh, like it's plus five damage from the draw. Especially oh yeah, they got not, nerfed. Yeah, it did. Like her, her early, her early aura is nowhere near as effective as it used to be. Dude, of all the heroes that I thought were gonna get nerfed at some point zero seven C, it would not be Drought. That's really low on my list of heroes that got nerfed. That would get nerfed. I think Ice Frog just hates the heroes I love. Techies and Drow. Well, and Enigma. Make Enigma viable again. 
Not without the jungle, Toby. No, not without the jungle. Especially now the bounty runes are like is the progression is terrible. I I admit this. I feel like part of the reason why Omni Knights pick so much is because he has those freaking wings as a cosmetic. <laughs> those wings are I mean they're pretty cool. They are they are pretty nice. But it makes me think of Matt Damon every single time. Why is that? Just a dogma. Is that a movie? Yeah, it is a movie. I, I, I gotta remember you guys my movies. No. If you guys with Will, he does. Yeah. Much better at pop culture than I am. I only play Dota Toby. You need to start crossing worlds. Alright, so... Lady wise, Dazzle, top of the CS board. With his uh, 35 second cooldown timing for Poison Sting. Really making life difficult for that Tidehunter. Um, is there better sarcasm than what I had before when we talked about the draft? <laughs> He is making life difficult for Tide. Is he? Kind of feels like uh, like Kako is actually doing that more than anything else. The thing is, melee heroes aren't good at zoning out of Tide. You hit him, he anchor smashes you, and then you lose any trade that you're gonna get. Yeah. So I think it's actually pretty surprising that they were able to. And, and uh, they got the bounty rune up top first, right? Mm -hmm. So you're all you have all these disadvantages, but you know, Dazzle with early Blightstone, he doesn't have it yet, but he will soon. He's gonna own. CTY is having an interesting, interesting time of mid. 6-7 for him against Medusa of 9-7. So it's still pretty close, but keep in mind that Kingwin are committing pretty much full time that Oak the Giant to the lane. And Puppy spending more time just harassing the support on the top lane. And they're actually TPing over. That's uh, now three heroes in mid, allowing the rolling ball to come forward. Puppy under attack with the Mystic Snake. He's trying to reach Rosham for a deny. Almost impossible to do so. Nisha able to actually get that first blood with a double Wraith Band build at the start. Ain't nothing wrong with double Wraiths. And she can slither faster. 14 agility. Move speed. Attack. Race car, Toby. <laughs> You no longer need phase boots. I think you're driving the wrong type of car. <laughs> you get a golf buggy. <laughs> yeah, those things can go pretty fast if you, if you push it. So, uh, How fast are those things though? I, I speak to me only in Dota range per second. It's a uh, Dota range. <laughs> only. Oh, uh, one third of one, one third of a bloodseeker. That's not very fast. <laughs> you don't know how fast that bloodseeker is moving. It's, it's a varying amount of rolling boulder. Oh, closing distance on draw range is what it's all about. A TP! It will be in time. Both purification and the damage from the ES, not enough to bring her down, but does force him to abandon the bottom lane. Lion's the only one who's down there currently going for the room, which is being contested and battled for. Uh, there will be no follow up to this. It's just Karkor and Yaps, so they get to have, hold hands and play together. Kakor's been doing a lot of work though. Yeah, drought didn't die down there, but forced to go home already this early. Not that great. You really want her to have the high levels of precision aura, especially with the way that it scales relative to before. Uh, it got, I think it was way higher at level one before. Maybe 16%, now it's 10% uh, at level one. So you can't go like a, you know, buff 311 or, or zero 02. You might have to max it out much more. Granted, they didn't even draft that many ranged heroes, so that which I was actually pretty surprised about. Yeah, and it, it didn't feel like a draw draw. Like, like you could like your face was the same as the panel when Titan got picked up after Dro was picked up. Like, does does this make a lot of sense? Puppy gonna body block up quickly. Just over onto Alicia. Parkour wants to help out. Quick kick and able to do that. Zone is being dropped. They're trying to get rid of it. That won't happen. Not when Solrim's there to keep it alive. And Dro Ranger rotating over just to get the extra little bit of money from it. Oh, that's the other buff. Like, Dro got buffed as well, remember? Like, you've got the, uh, what's it, plus 300 now on Gust? Or plus 400? 400. Yeah. yeah. So they, they increased the pushback on Gust. If you take it over the plus 25 attack speed. I think it's worth it. Especially if you get a cooldown reduction at level 25. If you make it 25. Draw out 25, you know, not one. Just as a hero. What was not the, uh, it was the combination when you got when you got the arcane rune, Dagon E Blade on Dro Ranger, you would have a one second cooldown between the Dagon and the E Blade pop. It was it was ridiculous magical burst damage coming from a Dro Ranger. Beating to the Arcane Rune to just make it all work together. 
more fun for the support to continuously stop each other from getting CS. Yep, just pretty high level. He hasn't really been involved too much, but he's still level 4. Picking up tons and tons of bounty rooms. Two more levels to kill Securi. Okay, he's going phase boots on Exotic Deer. I want to keep an eye on this guy. <laughs> phase, boots, Dezo. <laughs> Is that's that's the play here? He's definitely taking the damage. Well, I, you want high damage versus the 500 in the lane. So yeah. I can definitely see that. But the thing is, Blightstone you can't buy in the side shop. You can also can't buy phase boots. So like everything's like much slower. I, I, maybe this build would have worked out if the items were the, the, the way they were. Maybe the cool matches, but I don't think the cosmetics slow. match his build though. Like he doesn't have the Anoxi Desolator set. Gonna build it. Oh, that, that's 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 the normal build right for the for the DPS style dazzle. Maybe you get Dezo on the Medusa and then get the split shot using modifiers and Dezo everything. But you could do that. You could also just get like Maelstrom and then split shot modifier. But you're not getting uh, value out of the uh, out of the weave then. True. That's a big deal. I mean, weave is weave is humongous amounts of. Is there anything else you would actually rush on the dazzle? That would counter what secret are running. Uh, I, th the thing about Dezo, it doesn't help you farm that quickly. It's good for fighting, but you're not a TA, right? You're not gonna be able to like do a huge ancient stack with a Dezo. You're mm -hmm. not getting like insane amounts of value from it. So that's why. So does it turn you into a tower push then instead if you like, go desolate mm, style? I think the I think just the, the Blightstone is enough. You might have to go like a Pike or something like that, just because I think. You know, with with these sort of wonky position one heroes, you're gonna need weird items to make them work out. Because his t his attack range is not amazing. He's not a 600 range hero. He's 550. We've had a lot of wonky one heroes already on this on this stream. Well, we had when we had the like Maneski earlier today with their first game when they had the undying at uh, the. Uh, the Omni Knight one position and then this Tuscar three position. Oh, I know what he should get. He gets Solar Crest. Solar Crest <laughs> is just really good versus OD, good defensively. They have minus armor too with the Gush. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you can use it offensively in combination with. I really like uh, Solar Crest. You can kind of build it like Clink. Oh, that's a quick buy. It's also just much cheaper too. Like, Medallion's a thousand gold. It's not that much of a committal. Like, Dezo, you know, you're going to have to sit in the lane for a long time, and that's not really what you want to do as a, as a Dazzle, especially when you have a Deuce on your team. Your Deuce, she can take out the Ancients, she can farm up stacks. She's great at farming. And then, so you need someone else to cover up that space yep. because Drow is going to be looking to take down those T1s ASAP. Team Secret are looking for the Medusa, but they won't find him. Instead, easy rotation for the mid, and that vantage lasts a long time. Quick stun and a purification mana. Losing so much life so quickly with the rolling ball to forward. They have enough damage to get the kick in before Yasuo can get the double stun. Undying has dropped the tombstone. So more Undying minions will come to help find this one, but Partos. This is how you play Undying. Like, Vega weren't using the, uh, or sorry, the uh, Omni Knight. They weren't using it very well. This, like, TPN with a massive heal bomb, level 4 heal on a the Tide Hunter just looked like paper. Mm hmm. Watermelon for lunch. Easy slices. I prefer mine seedless. Dyer's bottom tower is under Would he have seeds? Mm -hmm. So. Melon? The Tide Hunter? Yeah. Oh, no, he's definitely got a couple of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> If you smash him, you get like his broken shell over here. Dude, though. Yuck. The seeds are his brain. <laughs> okay. That's how smart he is. That's some <laughs> nasty imagery. <laughs> ah, that's some value missed extinct. Money that's, mm. that's a big stack. They have they have dropped an observer ward there. I mean, if you win a big team fight, maybe you can take it out with Tidehunter. Oh, with okay, exotic tier. Let's see this this damage output on the puppy. Root wow, side. that's actually that's affirmative. Yep. Yeah, that's Le level four poison touch, phase boots plus medallion. Medallion is just nice, really nice. I, I like even medallion plus blight might be good. See, you know he's going for he's going for uh, solar pike. Pike I like more than Dezo just because of you don't want to die as Dazzle, because you, you want to be... Like, his spells are pretty low cooldown. He's not like one of those heroes you just drop all your spells and just bounce, I think, as a, as a core. Because yeah. your heal is just massive amounts of value level. It's a six-second cooldown, and when you get the talent... Be... Gotta drop those poison touches, man. Gotta stay alive to proc, reproc your poison touch. I still remember that be that ability being classed as the most useless ability in Dota 2. Poison Touch? Used to be. Oh, really? What What else would you say is better 
Or, or, or like worse than Poison Touch. If you could, if you could find Radiant something worse than Poison down. Touch. Uh, inner Vitality used to be the worst. I would say Inner Vitality used to be atrocious. That spell was garbage. Like, just get stats instead of it. Bad. Well, the days of stats are, are well gone. Yeah. What else was there, like, do you think would actually be, like, the worst? I don't know. Intervit is really hard to trump, man. Well, for now. Pressure being applied up for the top fighter. She bringing that town out pretty low. Exotic Deer not really able to defend it. Doesn't have anyone else up here. He has the wave clear, but only once the wave arrives. Wow. AUE poison time. Still haven't seen Ace uh, add a lot of pressure, but he has hit that level 8. So you've got high points up in both the aura as well as having that, that bonus agility from the Ottoman Poppy. Oh, God. Amount of damage it is not for Yaps to create space. Poppy's just copying rock after rock, but now you bring in the slow from Ace and Karkor. Parsons has to keep him alive. The GA is going to help out with that. Decay, however, not helping that much with the gun. Pushes him further back and finger of death. Yapsaw. All right, now now this feels more like Team Secret. Yapsaw securing the kill on the uh, Earth. <laughs> He's got to KS somehow. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like a license to do it, except you, you. Maybe this is the secret of Puppy. Like I'm gonna pick you Lion first. You don't get Rubik. You don't get a low cooldown, like little Fate Bolt new first damage thing. Like instead, you have a long cooldown timer, and you can only use it every two minutes until we get to the later part of the game, which points is like 40 seconds, right? I think it's good for the overall playstyle though that he has these, that he has multiple heroes, especially with the fans being three now. A lot of people just used to target him with like Urshigur and Rudik and then take one more in the yeah, first phase. Now you couldn't need a wider pool that you were super successful. We gotta get him to work more on his punch. That's, that's the next hero I'm waiting to see in the one position role. Uh, more trouble right now for Yamso being hunted. He does have his son available. If he can just break free quickly, there goes your first onto the ES. Yamso moving away from the rocks, away from the magnetizer, just keeping dropped on top of him. He's got 17 one charges and again another kick and silence. But is that a mech already up and running? Yep. We connects onto Team Secret, so negative armor is also arriving. The Drow team's on the defense floor. Yep, they are, but at the same time, you've still got a lot of pushing happening up on the top. Yeah, so, but you, don't, you do not want to lose your mid-T1 tower. But Medusa's already able to farm a lot of Ancients, and with this mid-T1 town, she's going to be able to farm your Ancients, too. It's not a good, not a good precedent for Secret at all. Yeah, Drow's not dying, but, you know, this is the time that you're supposed to be really strong. I do think it's partially due to the fact that they don't actually have a range of free position. Yeah, because Tidehunter, you know, you can only do so much with the Tide. You're not going to be able to farm that person, especially when you go for a and Wave clear. Like, like, that's the other thing where you normally get it with Yapsol, where you have like that fake bomb which cleans up the wave. But uh, in this case, it's like what? Decay in Tombstone? Ace. A lot of damage kicking in. Party. Oh, he wants a little bit more on some Kankor if he wants to hang around. Right now, they just hex control, making sure Exotic Tear is going to fall, but no! Pushes up and away. The gust slows him down for just a little bit. Poison sinks off cooldown, so is his one charges. With no tower, they go for the blind stun. Look into their small little corner. Puppy will find him, but everyone else is out of range and out of mana. Perfect pickup of small items. This is why you know you want a lot of small items, as opposed to like a big ticket Dezo or even Maelstrom Radiance almost would be a little big. Like all, like he was, he was right about to die too. Even that Wraith Man saved him right there. Stats, medallion, maneuverability, full stop. Wraith Band. Isn't a part of the uh no yeah, Fight? Part oh, yeah. now. I thought have, he I thought he had it earlier for some reason. Oh, I was like, why would he get early? You don't even get the damage. Yeah. But going for going for the stats into the pike later on. He's way more far than I thought he was gonna be. We'll see if that Falcon allowed to survive. There was movement coming to the top. It's the OD rotating up. That's Ooh, Midas bots. Old, old super greedy build. You do wonder too, like how CTY is meant to coordinate against this. Like with with basic lineups, you can understand like, okay, the time is going to run this way. This is the way we do things. But how do you even like predict Kingwin's timing when you're running like a dazzle one position? This is not something you can prepare for. 
I think you're always going to be worried about the late game versus the Medusa. So even if there is a question mark on the Dazzle, I do think the Medusa is just, especially with an Omni Knight on the team, because Medusa's very rarely built BKB, but you're not going to be able to like astral her during the Stone Gate. Yeah. You know, it would work out pretty well generally for them, or astral people during Grave. Like, it's just not going to be... You need a lot of uptime on the uh, Medusa so you can actually, like, steal all of her. And it's, it's just that time, too, when you when you, like, you steal the intelligence, but do you make it so yep, so normally the guy who jumps around who's getting stuns, disables all the time, you just have him sitting there draining her, training it dry? Probably. Maybe you get status resistance. I, I don't. I don't think you can just stand there and attack the or, or and mana drain. Yeah, it's just not really. It's good to proc Lincoln's, I would say, but she usually just hits so hard that it's very difficult to. Solar Crest is now fully done for Exotic Dia. They're gonna be able to do Roach pretty soon. I expect that T1 tower though. I I actually very surprised that Secret did not mount more of a defense with tower. I bet they're pretty sad about that. One. They have that deep ward too, right below the ancient, so that Medusa can farm that pretty safely. And in case they try and make a play on Roche, they're also going to see gaps which will run into that ward right. Yeah, they're they're right on top of it, and they smoke right on top of it as well. So they can set up a trap right here. Are they actually doing the Roche on themselves? They're going. They're, the they're they're definitely going to know. Oh, they're not there within they're, a few seconds. They're they're doing Roche on. Yeah. So I, Puppy holding the tombstone for the moment. They actually have their own medallion. It's not fast though, and now they have the dire scan. But they're inside the pit, so it's not being up just yet. Here comes the Medusa, running straight in. Observer Ward is up right now for Team Secret. They do see what's coming in. The Gus on the back line is for Guardian Angel. Three heroes locked together. Team Secret! The damage is so high when the Only Knight goes point blank range, purifying the evil sins that was Team Secret's attempt to go for Roshan. Three heroes lost. There shall be no rebuttal for this. Lion can do absolutely nothing, and even rolling ball to fawn, maybe the lion can do something. It's called dying. Hit by the Mystic Snake, Yamsaw's dropping low, the attacks from Nisha will do it. Four heroes lost, Aegis the Maw to King one, and that is a disastrous first attempt by Team Secret to do Roshan. The spirit of Eternal Envy lives on to Team Secret. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that bad of an attempt they had the medallion so it was like conceivable that they did it but just that ward that was there just made it impossible for them to actually take that fight yeah they can just count it down okay they're not wrapping around to medusa they're not popping up okay they're in roche and their, their roche lineup is not great either yeah but usually you're okay with that as a tide you're okay with taking a roche fight but when she walks in with stone gaze precasted yeah. And you don't disable her before the stone gaze, you are going to get crushed. Those two observer wards, like, you, you mentioned it yourself, like, Kingwin's gonna be thinking about Roshan, especially when that solar crest came up. Well, the, and it, their warning was perfect for it. Like, it was, it's in yeah. the right position to know when Team Secret will contest you. But they got even more than what they bargained for, where they actually saw Team Secret attempt it themselves. Yeah. But that's the thing of your secret, though. You, 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 you know that you're, like, not in a good spot. They already took down the T1, you know that. You shouldn't really be on the defensive at this point in time with the draw range lineup, so you, you feel like you need to do something. And if the things, if, if the game plays out the way, like slowly, the Medusa is going to farm a lot of ancients, and then they're just going to do Roche pretty safely, right? So you want to be one step ahead. I don't think it was a bad attempt. It was just a bad attempt because of the vision that they had. Without the vision, I think it would actually been a pretty good play for them. It would have been quite unexpected for their lineup to sneak Roche at that particular point. Yeah. But King won catch, catch a lucky break. And now it's Team Secret who are back on the repair job. There's still 6,000. The net worth advantage. Gold going in the way of, uh, of King one. Maybe a little bit more. And Ogre's wrapping around the back. He's, uh, oh, okay, a little bit of quick information. So the big question is, did the Midas bots on CTY really hurt them this game? So, this one of the greed, it's probably the greediest build of the game, Midas bots on any hero, I would say. And could they have taken the mid T1 fight if he had, let's say, uh, Tred's pipe, I would say, is roughly equivalent? Maybe Tred's four step? Or, you know, maybe even Veil to me, Veil would be probably not, so you probably just could for staff plus Treads. Would, would it make any difference? Maybe. I'm not I'm not completely sure. Nisha trying to force this. Yeah, so first lands the stun and the 
attempted silence, didn't realize that CTY moved a little bit further north, so they do not connect. CTY oh, yeah. is going to have to do some super heavy lifting, though. Yeah. Like, he is going to... The thing about it is, he went the greediest build possible, and look at his net worth relative to Doozy. It's, it's not a happy day for him, because they couldn't stop any of the ancient stacks. Like these, these fights that ended up happening all went yeah. the way of King. When they went back, they never lost any of their of their jungle prep. Because Omni Knight owns in this particular situation. Like, they, mm -hmm. they can't yeah, actually take it. Normally, Tithe is just really strong. Like, right after he gets level 6 to 25, 30 minutes, a little bit before BKB is popped out. He is King. Like, no yeah, one can so really touch him. He's got a Blink Dagger up and running. Goes to initiation, and they're actually going to the back line. So they started on Exotic Deer, but then they focus onto the Omni Knight, realizing that that's the target they need to bring down if they want to take any fight. I'll take that. Defensive Stone Gaze from Kingwood. Space two so from puppies on top of the tier two tower. They should just back off though without stone gaze. I think it's a little bit too sketchy of a fight, but actually, they do have the superior the vision. Yeah, just sitting on the on the top of the ramp. Oh, dude, that was just human was butterfly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a decent dude, amount of money. They're in a lot of trouble. Oh my, I did not. I saw her net worth. I was like, okay, yeah, she's far. <laughs> and then I see her items, and like, she is. Way more fun than I even thought she was. Well, and Team Secret, no, they can't just sit back and wait for this. They, they're they looking at a chance to get involved, but it won't happen. A denial of the tower happens from an OT. They're weaved up, though. Oh, okay, the butterfly. Yeah, done. okay. Good <laughs> luck dealing with that. And then she's going to be bloodlusted and repelled, and she's going to be... They're going to have weave. And oh. she's still got another 1,000 gold after finishing up the butterfly. <laughs> like, it's not even like you're, you're slowing down the progression to the next item. You've removed all out of towers in 23 minutes. I You've do. already taken one, Roshan. The weave stone gaze synergy is actually quite nice because that's sometimes a problem where you have a different uh, cores that don't do any damage through the uh, through the stone gaze. Like you want heroes like Sven who just like chop them down during the stone gaze. It's a very common combo with Medusa, but no one's ever really thought of Medusa uh, Dazzle. That's so cool. They're just gonna run the Medusa in. Okay, nope. Agus Immortal just timed down. Fresh Observe Ward down. They see Puppy. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh. Wait, Puppy lives. One shot is ignite. It is ticking him. It's ticking him. He needs the creep wave. So Soul Rip keeps him alive. 11 HP. Barely surviving. But while Puppy's looking his wounds, you're attempting a split push up on top. King would bring that mid tower down to one third of his HP. At least Father's pushing top, right? Yes. <laughs> they do yes. have, what, two towers out on top? I guess that's some playroom to work with, but six towers already down. This, wow, this uh, Dazzle's actually owning when he's farming Ancients. He actually just cleared that camp out really quickly with Mask of Madness. How much it's... All right, so 220 damage. That's a lot, and he has a lot of minus armor. And now he's going to go for a BKB. What is that movement speed as well? 550 with the haste rune running up north, and Tide's going to have to back up the second he sees Exotic Deer with that kind of speed. We were talking about the amount of damage you've got. If you can't outrun him, yeah, you got to TP home. Who theory crafted this? <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> the one position dazzle? Yeah, I don't. I, I'm very curious. Well, that's that's that question, right? Like, was there a point ever in the history of Dota where you had a one position dazzle? Uh, I've seen two before. I have seen three as well. Moose played it at, as three, uh, but as a one position. As a one, I don't. Yeah, I remember it in the two positions, but they were they were also in the early days of Dota 2 when you were wondering like who the hell you can even run mid. So that's when we had like the Shamans and the Rubik's, like the age of when like Sing Sing was relevant professional Dota player. It's also before there were like all the items that he's built this game, or not the mask, but the solar and the pike, the, the Dota did Yeah. So... I mean, a secret keep going like this, they're still going to get out farmed. This Medusa has, is like kind of closing in on like double of the OD's net, uh, CS. Bloodlust, Split Shot are just much better farming tools than that. I mean, you have Pristine Aura, Midas, that doesn't even compare. Come Jeez. on, look at her items. Insane. Yeah. She when does... that Scotty comes up, like, how long is it going to be before that attack modifier is is done? Dude, I think... Like, how, how, how fast does it take her to get to level 25? Well, she doesn't need 25. She just gets 20 with 800 mana and get Aegis, repel, and you just win the game, I think. 
How, how do you kill her? She's gonna have 2,000 mana. Actually, mm -hmm. that's without the Scotty even. And she's gonna get a double damage rune if oh, somebody no. makes a play for it. A quick nod Ooh. from Yamsol does not want to deal with that and then taunts his way out. Very important. I don't think the Drow can do any damage in this. Yeah. In the fights. That's, I think, the biggest problem for me. Like, you cast Ye and then what does she do? She can't, like... Middle literally nothing you could do in the fight. You're gonna have to burst down the Omni Knight, but if you try to burst down the Omni Knight, he gets sprayed, there's Stone Gate that comes out. So I, I'm not very confident in her ability to stop the GF from coming out, and because of that, I have full confidence in King Wen winning this team fight. Yeah. And King Wen can just put the Medusa on the front lines if you're pushing in high ground, like even if it's like a high ground defense from Team Secret. Oh, okay, this might help from Ace if he can initiate. The Observer was down and so oh, there's a quick gust. Follow up stun start draining out that mana, burn through the shields, and well, they managed to chip away at 15% of her mana. She even he even took the 414 build on the lion. And that drain was still an effective puppy on the run. And Gust tries to create space again, won't work. This Dusa is unstoppable. Yep. So we'll see just how how hard Team Secret want to try and commit again another stun into a drain. Four star breaks the range. Need to bring the OD back to the front line so these abilities of Team Secret can be most handled. Nisha just goes straight in. The damage on the Yamsaw with the kick control is too good for King One. They have the creep wave with them and reset the position. Fortification being triggered by Team Secret. Full defense for the moment, and that TP4 is a dying coming in, not the right time for it, Nisha. There you go again, turn on the stone gaze, gets them to run away, and all they want to do is break down the tower, expose the racks, even a creep wave pushing through bottom, a team secret. They don't want to keep chasing either, they want to, if they can get some, like, cancel TPs, but won't happen. Back up the top. Get control of the lanes from Kingwin, and they've opened up the shrines. They do need to refill mana on Medusa though before this next push. It, it could be she could be in a little bit of trouble because she only has 600 mana right now. That mana drain is very significant, 120 mana per second. But this X Roche the, the secret absolutely needs, or they just flat yeah. out lose. I think. And what do they do? Like they can they can try and deward a little bit, smoke and go in again, but you're, uh, you're being you, scouted at the moment by illusions. And... I think you wrap around, you burst down the Omni Knight while astraling the Dazzle. Oh, I think they're getting ideal. wrapped around themselves into the back line. Just the Medusa right on top of the Absol part of the reveal. They have to keep these stuns chaining off. It's a three-man Ravage, which isn't too bad. They've managed to get through most of Nisha's mana, but even then, that's not enough. The Tombstone is lost. The OD comes, well, Puppy comes back out. The OD's imprisonment. Earn charge ticking down on the draw range. Ace down to 6 HP. Able to survive and needs to TP home whenever he can find a safe place, and he does find that place. Two supports lost from Team Secret. They should be very happy that that wasn't worse than what it was. <laughs> yeah, they really should. Well, when Dusa wraps around like that, you actually just stand no chance. She caught line of her supports, didn't even use Stone Fizz. And now the Illusion scouts out the fact that Roshan's alive, so they move in so quickly to grab him. Look at that. That is one big damsel. But you. <laughs> When you one launch him, it's like it's like with the set as well, it looks like there's a whole bunch of like popping zits on his back. Like what's the guy that guy in three hundred? Yeah, 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 was, oh, yeah, yeah, the little uh, the hunchback guy who, wow. who ended up betraying. Um wow, movie reference from I know, that's a wild, leaning like, word. I was like, who am I? What is this? I did watch that movie. <laughs> it is one of the big ones to watch. Alright, well, let's see if well, you don't have 300, you have five people for Team Secret to hold this line against the Horde. Stuns can come out, the Gust from Ace, he can get the range to get the damage out. But remember, you've still got the Weave, you've got that armor going through. It's it almost plus 40 armor on the already base 24 armor of Medusa. They can't put physical damage into this. So you look for the magical pop, but... I. All you really get is OD stealing intelligence, but if he gets close enough for that, he can get initiated on. And he doesn't, he doesn't have a way to deal with the evasion, too. Yeah, like you're gonna have to deal with the solo crest on him. Anyways, Medusa's going the second butterfly. Oh yeah, the butterfly and the, and the solo crest, and another butterfly. Yeah. I mean, she could go rapier at this point. Spice it up, Nisha. 
I don't think you need to. Yeah, you're really I think they're, they're very happy, like, well, like Cat was saying, like, he bumped them in, in the elevator, and it's like, they really should have 2 0 was the mindset. If they lose this game, if they lose, if they give, if they give Secret more than two kills, they probably will be sad with themselves. Because right now, if they play this right, Team Secret should get absolutely nothing. Yep. Third Yasuo, well, okay, three men up, playing right, they sit through the rear, they try to come in from behind, and now, well, BKB's getting triggered, Ace is the main man they're hunting, rolling ball to forward, four of them on him, the Troy Ranger will fall, one minute without her, and Team Secret, well, they tried to pin some, Kingwood, and all they're gonna end up doing is losing this game, Puppy is so low, Nisha just gets pushed in, and the buybacks, they all don't exist. Okay. GG, well played. 32 minutes, two kills for Team Secret to the 14 of Kingwood. Okay, yesterday I saw four putt. Today I saw a core dazzle just solo a Drow Ranger. I've seen everything. <laughs> this is officially. This is, this is the new one. Nice strat. Yeah, dazzle, dazzle one position.